Hey, it's Joy. Tesla is rolling out FSD, no longer beta, but supervised version 12.3.4 these past few days. And I finally just received it and downloaded and installed it. So I'm going to take it back out on my new test route to see if there's still the hesitation with the lane changes where it was signal to a left turning lane, a designated left turning lane, but then in the middle of changing into that lane, it will come back out into the right going lane, but then eventually it will still turn left, which is incorrect. So we're going to go back on that intersection and see if it solved that issue. And also we'll go drive and see if the car is now staying dead centered like V11 versus hugging the right lane marking and sometimes even driving on the right lane marking in V12. So as a disclaimer, per usual, these are outlier edge cases that I am testing FSD on. V12 FSD, from my experience, has been performing at 95% correctly versus V11, which was performing at 90% and then V10 was about 80%. So I am definitely seeing the progress of FSD technology and the car is behaving more and more like human driver. It's making much better decisions in V12 and it's driving more confidently. So let's see if um, these two edge cases have been solved by Tesla in this latest FSD iteration. Let's go. Okay, so it is Sunday evening, so the traffic isn't as bad, and in fact, there's actually no traffic. Um, I do want to also mention that I am operating in assertive mode of FSD, and uh, we are going to uh, assertive mode. We're going to drive through the residential area with the mini runabouts that I was testing on in FSD beta V10 and V11, which Tesla has solved in the middle of uh, V11 enhancements. So um, this route right now before when I was driving um, V10 and V11, um, I was still a little bit nervous, but um, ever since V12, I'm just not really concerned much anymore because I know for sure that um, FSD is um, handling it like a champ. So um, the speed bumps, the car is detecting very well with these half or they call it humps or the half little speed bumps and I do have my setting um, at uh, going with the traffic um, flow I don't know if you can see on screen I've been using this mode and um, I actually do like it for street driving so um, I don't have to constantly play around and adjust the speed settings when I am on the streets because of the varying speed limits throughout the city. But um, Elon has announced uh, RoboTaxi will be coming. Okay, here I need to nudge a little bit because for some odd reason it was just sitting at the stop sign for several seconds it wouldn't move forward so there was an intervention right there to tell the car hey it's okay you're safe to go ahead and move forward but um, um, 
yeah, there was actually a little pothole. I don't know if uh, you were able to see it on screen, but um, LA, we have been raining last night and today, like really big like rainstorm. Right now it's clear, but there are potholes. And I've noticed since uh, version 12.3.1 that there are potholes like right in the middle of the road where FSD would actually slow down in front of the pothole and go over it very cautiously. So back there when I was talking, the car kind of slowed down a little bit because there was a, not a huge one, but a little bit of pothole right in the middle of the road. And um, FSD said, oh, there's a pothole, let me slow down and um, proceed cautiously. So that was amazing. This was actually the second time I've experienced um, FSD doing this. And uh, at this roundabout, there's a pedestrian drive, uh, walking a dog and the car detected it, stopped for the pedestrian and the dog. And the owner was even like, hey, thank you for stopping. So um, yeah, this FSD has gotten so good. It's gotten so good. So I'm just really happy to see the progress. And here is just a tiny little nuance that I showed in um, V12.3.1, which was still in beta version, where the lane split into two. So there's a designated right turning lane, and then the car is supposed to go straight, but um, it was kind of driving in the middle of two lanes um, like where the lane marking is like literally dead center before the car decided, oh, I need to move forward to the going straight lane. So I hope that um, that will be improved in later iterations, uh, but I'm not doing disengagements uh, on that one because it's not a huge problem. So now it, it's green, but the car's not going for some reason. So I have to nudge it again just to tell it, hey, it's okay, it's green light. You're supposed to go straight. Um, so you can go ahead and go. So up, on, up ahead at this traffic light, this is a problem area. I'm going to um, see what the car's gonna do. So it's signaling to the left and yeah, still, I still need to disengage because the car came into the left turning lane and then it went back out to the straight lane. So let me report this. Car signaled to go to left turning lane, but in the middle of changing lane, it went back to the straight going lane. So I had to take over. So unfortunately, in V12.3.4 supervised FSD, there is still this issue of the car not being able to change into this lane decisively, even though it was signaling to come to the left lane, and then it was actually starting to move into that lane. But for some odd reason, FSD decided, no, nope, I'm going to come back out. And this lane is actually designated for going straight. I don't know if you can see on the screen, but there's a, um, a guiding path for that lane for, for going straight. So this is the only designated left turning lane, and these two are going straight lanes. So um, initially, there are people arguing with me that um, both lanes can turn left, but I'm telling you, I've been living here for 20 years. This is the only lane that can turn left. And there are dashes on the ground throughout the intersection for this lane for going, going straight. And those will actually lead onto the freeway. So um, hopefully FSD will, or Tesla will fix this issue um, soon. And uh, again, it just I just have to come out here and drive on this route um, every time there's an update. So, um, but uh, yeah, um, V12.3.4 so far is uh, doing well. 
except for that <laughs> that problem intersection still. So now let me go ahead and um, go back on the other route where um, I will test the not staying dead centered issue. So coming up on this straight path, if you watch my previous two V12 uh, variation FSD beta videos, you'll remember that my car, for whatever reason, it was driving all the way to the right and uh, sometimes actually driving on the right lane marking. So we're going to test it out and uh, see if the 12.3.4 supervised has solved this issue. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, okay. It is actually staying dead centered again. And um, it is not going to the, oh, wait, wait, wait. It is, it still is. It is still, Hmm, driving on the right lane marking. So, unfortunately, the supervised FSD version did not solve this issue. So, uh, see, this is like right on the lane or this close. Let me turn on the camera. So, this is still not staying dead centered. And um, I really hope someone at Tesla is watching this video so that um, they will fix they will fix this issue of um, the car not staying dead centered. So ah, I was hoping that um, it will be fixed, but hey, it's okay, it's okay. And then now we have the lane split. Oh, and this time the car is um, doing this. Okay, now like halfway um, instead of right when it splits and it anticipates that upturn, the up, uh, right turn up ahead in order to um, just get into that right lane right away. So thankfully, right now there's no traffic. But if it's during rush hour traffic, um, um, the, that lane, that right lane would start to build up with traffic and then it would be tough for the car to cut in and then eventually make that right turn. So that intersection in 12.3.1, it performed much better. Um, but for some reason, in this iteration, 12.3.4, it went back to the previous behavior. So again, I hope Tesla can adjust that as well. So that was my very first drive on FSD version 12.3.4, supervised, no longer beta. Unfortunately, it still did not solve that intersection left turning issue, nor the right lane marking, hugging and driving on the lane marking issue on that particular street. But it's okay. Like I said in the beginning, this version is performing at 95% correctly. And so yes, it still needs supervision, but it is so much better than V11 and V10 of FSD beta. And I also discovered, as you saw, that uh, for some reason the car was sitting at the stop sign and the traffic light when the light turned green and it wouldn't move. It would just sit there for like another second or so before um, I had to nudge on the acceleration to tell it to go. So those are new, um, but I'm gonna drive around some more and see if those issues still persist. But um, I am super excited that FSD is finally out of beta and that now more people can utilize it and have a much, much safer driving experience on the road. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one and God bless you.